what you do, which is this kind of takeaway where the handle's pushing this way, there's a chance on the on the redirection that it'll open the face. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna come down this way. Yeah. If you're putting a force that way, there could be a chance where you kind of go like this. So we don't want to do that, right? So uh, on your practice swings, what I did say for us to get a draw pattern is the arms need to be fast. They need to be doing it by your right side. So what I said was like, hey, go over here, keep your back to the target. And I had to say it three times before you before it set with you, and all of a sudden you're going like, like this. You go, what is that? That's a ball that's going to go that way. Okay. Now if you're fading, then it's more rotational. For me, I just kind of. I'm not going to keep my back to the target and try to fade it, totally. right? Yeah. So it just makes sense, you know. So if you get, if you can just pull that one thing in and go, okay, I'm kind of losing it to the right today. Back to the target, release my arms. Tom Brady. Hey guys, what's happening? It's Gormanator. I'm out here with Dustin Johnson. Well, not really, but he's helping my students. What DJ does, he's always got this forward press, but it goes diagonally out there, which means it kind of leans out to you here. So as he starts back, he gets in this position here, starts to lean the shaft out diagonally, which de-lofts the club and flattens his wrist into that bowed position. When he does that, the wrists go, they change. They go from maybe a little cupped here to flat bowed. You can see how my club head is on the inside pattern, right? This way, you know? So DJ, he goes here, keeps everything out here in front, but the club head's behind the hands, and then he cranks down this way, and then you can see how square that club face is coming into the ball. It's not like coming like this, whoosh, yeah. like that. It's just, he just rotates through, and then he kind of flips it over here at the end. So the handle goes this way a little bit, kind of diagonally, a little like that. And you can see it's, the wrist is done, right? Mm -hmm. and then you just kind of crank it. Okay. Is that what you're feeling? Yeah. You did it. So anybody that's like slicing, cupping wrists, uh, this is a super great way that's helped my students. We can just see there. No slice, push out, piece of cake. Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. You want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.